you were in Los Angeles during the 1980s, you know the city was overflowing with music, thrash metal, hard rock, glam, hip-hop, punk, pop, and what is now called alternative. Jane's Addiction was one of the many bands gigging around Hollywood in the 1980s and are generally considered hard rock or alternative. Whatever you call them, make sure to call them great as well because they went on to become one of the most quintessential and influential bands of the late 1980s and early 1990s. One of Jane's Addiction's most famous songs is Jane Says, and I dare I dare say this melodic, almost ethereal song is one of the most definitive of the entire era. The story behind the band's name and the song Jane Says are indeed related. The Jane and Jane's Addiction and in Jane Says are in honor of a real woman named Jane Bainter, who was one of several housemates splitting the rent with the band in this house. Situated in the Larchmont section of Los Angeles, this five-bedroom, 2,700-square-foot craftsman-style house was built in 1914. Rent prices in the mid-1980s were nowhere near as steep as they are now the band was broke and needed others to move in and share expenses. It wasn't uncommon for as many as 12 people to live in the house at any given time. Jane found her way to the house through her friend Eric Avery, who was the original bass player in Jane's Addiction. Jane turned into quite the muse for the aspiring band, which is why they named their new musical project Jane's Addiction after their roommate's very real dependency on heroin. These days, singer and main songwriter Perry Farrell recalls Jane quite fondly. She was smart and educated, he says, and she liked liked to read and drink wine, but she went through a dark phase that the band members witnessed up close, and if we're being honest, band members were part of this same world. Perry Farrell began documenting Jane's life, and the result was the song Jane Says. Unfortunately, I can't play it for you, but it's easy enough to find if you would like to read the lyrics. The song is very literal to the things Jane actually said and was doing at this point in her life. Jane really did have an abusive boyfriend named Sergio. He was a dealer who supplied drugs not just for Jane, but also the other roommates. She to wear a wig when she went out, Jane dreamed of visiting Spain. In moments of desperation in her addiction, she was prone to lash out in frustration, but as Perry's lyrics know, it wasn't her intent to hurt anyone. She scored her drugs from St. Andrews, which is a street not far from where they all lived, which explains why in the song she gets her dinner or drugs there and why she can pull her dinner from her pocket. Jane talked about finding true love and perhaps the most poignant line in the entire song, the desire to straighten her life out when she says, I'm gonna kick tomorrow. As the band Jane's Addiction gigged around Hollywood, they sometimes used Jane's photo in their promotional materials. Their hard work paid off and they went on to great success, with Jane Says in particular defining a point in music history and becoming one of their most beloved songs. What started out as a song about a roommate's frustration with her life achieved a broader meaning. The disillusionment Jane feels became emblematic of what a generation was going through. Unmet aspirations, unfulfilled love, a sense of general helplessness with life's direction, and yet still looking to the future for some sense of hope. Eventually, Jane's addiction lost touch with their namesake and muse. A few years ago, a reporter located Jane Bainter, the woman behind the now legendary alternative rock group. In her interview, Jane confirmed the lyrics of Jane Says were accurate. She also noted that she finally visited Spain. She was done with Sergio and most importantly, had kicked her habit. Both Jane Bainter and Jane's addiction have had their ups and downs over the decades but came through the other side, finally overcoming at least some of life's uncertainty and disillusionment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.